No one can leave Ferrari out when it comes to Formula One. I mean, what comes to your mind when you think of Red Bull? Wings? Adventure? But we all know that Ferrari is synonymous with speed, and so is F1. I am pretty sure that I am not the only one sharing this sentiment. Motorsport and Ferrari go hand in hand, and Sebastian Vettel has a similar thought about it. But Sebastian's team and its legacy had been under scrutiny for about 15 years. Ferrari had a sort of drought over these years, and their supporters, often referred to as Tifosi, saw the Scarlet Speedster grab the World Championship title. But as Red Bull and Mercedes have beat them to it, it seems like the Tifosis have been questioning Ferrari's performance and ability to make them proud. The Formula One community and the Tifosis have been secretly talking about their stance on Ferrari and them not standing on the podium. But the future is uncertain and many are eager to see what it holds for Ferrari this time. Kimi Raikkonen and several other drivers have stepped into the Ferrari team, each carrying the hope of reviving Enzo Ferrari's original vision. But unfortunately, as we all know, none have managed to fulfill that ambition. With Sebastian Vettel's retirement, the responsibility shifted to Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. But Carlos Sainz has been the victim of a couple of rumors, but this one just might be true. Recent rumours swirling around the paddock suggest that Sainz might be heading for the exit, eyeing a fresh start with Audi in 2026. Do you remember back when Carlos Sainz made the move to McLaren from Renault? Many speculated that he might have opted for Sauber, Alfa Romeo, instead. Despite ending up with the larger and arguably superior team, there are now indications that Sainz could reunite with his former team boss, Andreas Seidel, to spearhead Audi's entry into the world of Formula One. The prospect of Sainz's potential departure adds another layer of uncertainty to Ferrari's future lineup and the Tifosi. If the rumours hold true, Charles Leclerc could find himself facing a lone wolf journey in the pursuit of Ferrari's championship glory. Fans and pundits alike are keenly observing how this narrative unfolds and what it means for the dynamics within the Ferrari team. While Carlos Sainz had previously denied rumours linking him to Audi, attributing them to media fabrication, there is more to what meets the eye. The ties between Sainz and Audi run deeper and on a personal level. The connection is not just a speculation, as Sainz's father has a history of racing for Audi in the challenging Dakar rally. How can we ever ignore this fact, this, this familial link? Especially with Sainz Senior sharing a promotional reel with Audi, which absolutely showcases their involvement in the Dakar rally. The shared history between the Sainz family and Audi added a lot of weight to the speculation or argument, prompting many in the Formula One world to draw connections and consider the possibility of the Nomtown 55 driver's future aligning with Audi. Now Sainz can deny all of it, but this is going to get some index fingers pointing. The driver's storyline gets interesting, and the potential transition might be a valid rumour after all. Adding spice to the mix, the entire Sainz family commented in a show of support for the senior man with Carlos Sainz commenting, let's go with everything, one more year. The Spanish driver, Carlos Sainz Sr., brought two World Rally Championships in the 90s, steering his way in the iconic Celica for Toyota and carving his name as a champion. Carlos Sainz is still a force to be not messed with, but he wasn't in his prime when he joined the Audi force. But then his son would be the obvious choice for the German manufacturer. Not just because of the marketing value, but Carlos Sainz is just as capable as his father, if not better going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most skilled drivers like Charles Leclerc over an entire season. This would be enough for Audi to have him on the top three list for a partnership. Well, he is not perfect. Carlos Sainz has faced challenges with the SF23 in Brazil, but his amazing performances made him stand out in Singapore and Monza, which also put him a step ahead of his teammate, Charles Leclerc. This is a trend that echoes Sainz's inaugural year with the Scuderia, where he easily outperformed Ferrari's star, Leclerc, in the standings. Although 2022 painted a slightly different picture, Sainz is back in the game to outshine the Monegasque driver this season. And thanks to Leclerc's ongoing streak of bad luck, we can say that he is overtaking him with ease. Now what makes us think he is looking for a new team is that there is an issue within the Ferrari team that would rather be a no-brainer. Carlos Sainz has always been vocal about his problems with his car's setup. He seems very discontent, and the growing frustration is visible, which makes me believe that it could be a catalyst between the Spanish driver and Ferrari to reach its breaking point. Now to add more salt to it, Ferrari's former boss, Mattia Binotto, might deal the final blow to Sainz's tenure in Maranello. 
His role in this equation or this unfolding drama raises a lot of questions between the Tifosi about the team's internal conflicts and the dynamics of their professional relationship, which can be a huge factor considering his career and reputation, relies on the races and his performance, which is hindered by the car he is driving. At this point, we know that Carlos Sainz might not be as satisfied with his team as it looks from our view. But now the main question is, could Audi bring Carlos Sainz and Mattia Binotto back together? As Carlos Sainz's deal with Ferrari comes closer to its end in 2024, the fact that there's no clear news about a renewal has people guessing about what's next for the Spanish driver in Formula One. This uncertainty coincides with Audi's dream of joining the F1 scene, but their plans are facing a hurdle because of tricky engine issues. Looking forward to the 2026 season, Formula One is gearing up for some big changes in how engines work. These changes are a bit complex, but show a forward-thinking move to make F1 more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly. The idea is to build engines from scratch, keeping a close eye on being kinder to the environment and pushing for the use of greener fuels. For Audi, stepping into Formula One isn't just about dealing with tough competition. It's also about getting used to these new rules about engines. The timing of their potential entry lines up with F1's commitment to using new technology and being more environmentally responsible. With the whole car industry moving towards greener practices globally, the 2026 regulations want to make Formula One a leader in embracing eco-friendly technologies. This big goal adds more pressure on newcomers like Audi. They not only have to compete at the top level, but also need to fit in with F1's evolving environmental aims. In this mix of challenges and changes, what happens with Carlos Sainz and Audi's F1 dreams is becoming like a connected story. It goes beyond just individual driver contracts. It's about dealing with the wider challenges and chances that come with F1's promise to be more eco-friendly. For a new entrant like Audi, developing a competitive engine under these regulations poses a formidable task. The German manufacturer is caught in a dilemma, entering the sport at a time coinciding with a significant engine overhaul. While Audi may have secured a talented driver in Carlos Sainz, they now find themselves without an engine development lead. Sources, including Formula.Uno, suggest that Mattia Binotto could be the ideal candidate to spearhead Audi's engine development program. Binotto's journey from a race engineer to a leadership role at Ferrari showcases his capabilities in managing a top-tier team. Despite criticisms from both the Tifosi and Ferrari management for past miseries, Binotto's departure hasn't brought immediate improvements to the Maranello outfit. This indicates that either he wasn't the sole issue, or there are underlying concerns within the Italian team. In the midst of Ferrari's struggles, with both Leclerc and Sainz grappling with inconsistent reliability and strategic blunders, the Spanish driver now faces a crucial decision. He must weigh the odds of sticking with Ferrari, where his father proudly raced, or potentially reuniting with Binotto at Audi for a fresh start. The unfolding scenario adds an intriguing layer to the evolving dynamics of Formula One.